Columbus show, I Married Joan, America's favorite comedy show, starring America's queen of comedy, Joan Davis, as Mrs. Joan Stevens. And featuring Jim Backus as Judge Bradley Stevens. Brad. Yes, dear? I'm sure glad that you agreed to dig up the garden for the new shrubbery instead of going to play golf. <laughs> so am I, dear. I just have one more picture to hang and then I'll get your lunch. Break it open. Maybe there's jewels or gold hidden away. Oh, no, honey. I, I don't think Mr. Robbins left anything in that safe. Mr. Robbins? Yes, the man we bought the house from. I'll tell you what, dear. I'll call him, get the combination, and then we'll open the safe, huh? All right, Brad. All right, there. Let's see. Gee, you know, it, it's funny that Mr. Robbins didn't say anything about the safe in the wall. Well, he probably forgot all about it. Uh, hello? Hello, Mr. Robbins? Uh, this is Judge Stevens. Say, can I uh, trouble you for the combination of that safe? What's that? No, the uh, the wall safe in the in the living room. Yeah, it's right over there. Uh, no, no, it's behind a panel, right over the fireplace. Yeah, you hit it and it opened up, and then you hit it again. Uh huh. Uh, what's he saying, Brad? Well, really. Uh, what, what, what's he saying, honey? Well, that's that's very interesting. Well, what's interesting? <laughs> is, is that so? You, you don't say. Well, what don't he say, Brad? <laughs> well, thank you very much for telling me. Not at all. Uh, goodbye, Mr. Robbins. Uh, what did you say? What did Robin Robbins say? Oh, dear, it was nothing important. Uh, uh, how would you like to go to the movies tonight? Bradley J. Stevens, will you please stop torturing me? Tell me what Mr. Robbins said. Well, Mr. Robbins didn't even know the safe was there. He didn't? No, he said it was probably put in by the original owner, the man he bought it from, uh, Mr. Abner Cartwright. Gee, then I'll bet that the safe is loaded with stuff. Well, hardly. You see, Mr. Cartwright was once a rich man, but when he died, his entire estate consisted of this house. Well, what happened to all his money? Well, nobody knows. He had no family, no heirs, and... Mr. Cartwright was an eccentric old man. Now, bet I know the reason that they didn't find the money is because it's all in that safe. And it's all ours. <laughs> <laughs> Look, in the first place, you couldn't possibly break open that safe with that hammer. Oh, that's right. But I'm sure gonna try, Brad. <laughs> Secondly, if there was anything, I'm not sure it belonged to us. Now, Brad, how can you possibly say that? We bought this house. That means that we bought everything that's in it. And you said yourself that Mr. Cartwright didn't leave any heirs. Well, Joni, it's hardly that simple. You see, there has to be a member from the probate court here when that safe is opened. Then we can keep the money? Then we can keep the money. No, 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 no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, Don't you see? It all depends upon how long he, how long ago he died. We might get a percentage of it. We, we might get nothing. I don't know. It, it all depends on the circumstances. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I guess I was getting all excited over nothing. Perhaps there's nothing in the safe. <laughs> now you're being sensible, dear. It's probably empty. Like you say, a few old letters, photographs. That's right, dear. Or, or at best, maybe Mr. Cartwright just kept a small amount of money in there for emergencies. Hundred dollars or so. That's possible. Oh, if we're real lucky, uh, some small securities, probably worth very little by now. Perhaps nothing. On the other hand, they may have gone up. 
Mr. Cartwright had invested a thousand dollars in some oil stock fifty years ago. Today it could be worth ten thousand. Oh, Joni. Or maybe even fifty thousand. Now, Joni. Or it could be a half a million, or even a million. Brad, a million dollars. We're rich, Brad. <laughs> This is sure going to be a funny experience for me, being invited someplace to, to crack a safe. <laughs> well, it's all perfectly legal. It's just that I can't wait a couple of more days to find out what's in that safe. I'm much too curious. <laughs> right over there. I hope it doesn't take too long, because my husband is going to be here in about an hour, and, well, I wouldn't want him to know about this, you know. I hope it don't take too long either. I left my car outside with the motor running from force of habit. <laughs> No, no, them, them, them all say so a cinch for, for a man with, with, with my experience. Good. Yeah, oh, 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 that, that's, that's in the past, you understand. I understand, you. This will only take but a couple of minutes, Good Mrs. Going. Stevens. Hurry it up, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Huh? What's the matter? They ain't working out. They, 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 there's something wrong. Well, what, what's the trouble? No, I, I don't know. I... I don't feel, I don't feel like there, there, there's something wrong. I'll bet I know what the trouble is, Louie. Just keep working. I'll fix that right up. Hey, that's good. I, I, I hear much better in the dark. <laughs> now. Oh, that's perfect, sister, perfect. I'll listen for the cops. <laughs> yeah. I knew it was a cinch. Oh, Jim, when you open the curtains, I can't wait to find out what's in there. Hi, Dad. It's empty. Huh? No, no, there's something in... Yeah, yeah, there's, there, there's something in there, Louie. <laughs> I, I feel it so plain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What did you find? They got to get it. Tell me the tongs, will you? Yeah, the tongs. Yeah. Thank you. There's nothing in there but this one piece of paper. And it's an old, dirty piece of paper at that. And it's nothing but an old, torn map. Map? Map the... A map! <laughs> oh. Why, it's a map of a piece of property, a shape like... Why, well, it's our backyard. Yeah? Yeah, and it's got some writing on it. It says... In the garden, you will see growing there a large oak tree. There upon its hanging limb, your search for treasure must begin. What? It's a treasure map. I'm rich. How about that? Why, this paper is worth millions of dollars. Oh, Louie, I must reward you. Here's 20,000 for you. <laughs> Hello, Louie. Yes, yes, everything is working out just fine. Mrs. Stevens thinks the treasure map is genuine. Thanks again for calling me right away when she phoned you. She ever knew that you opened the safe for Judge Cushing and me before you opened it for her. Well, well thanks again, Louie. I can hardly wait till she starts following instructions on that treasure map. Some treasure map. Yesterday it was the back of a shopping bag she brought lamb chops home in. 
Oh, no, no, no. She hasn't said a word to me about it. Okay, Louie. Well, didn't I tell you, Mabel, just as soon as I said the word golf, he grabbed his clubs and flew right out the front door. <laughs> Joni, are you sure this map is legitimate? Well, of course it is, Mabel. Look at the outlines on this map. It can't be anything but this property. Uh, see, this is the back line here, uh, slanting towards the front. And this line here, that's the street right there. This line here, that, that's where the building begins. Now, no, this map was drawn by old Abner Cartwright, all right. <laughs> the only thing that concerns me is what I'm going to do with all the treasure money that I find. Oh, boy, first I'm going to buy a new car and lots of furs, yacht trip around the world. I'll take you with me, Mabel. But suppose there isn't as much money as you think. Then you'll have to stay home, dear. I'm sorry. Go on, read the instructions. In the garden you will see growing there a large oak tree. There upon its hanging limb, for your search for treasure must begin. Abner Cartwright may have drawn the map, but I'll bet the instructions were written by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Don't be silly, Mabel. Abner Cartwright was an old man, and this is the way he used to do things. Uh, that must be the tree over there. Which one is the oak? Well, it's got to be this one. The other one's got oranges on it. <laughs> yeah, there's the hanging limb. Yeah, but I don't see any treasure on it. Well, of course not. Listen, crawl ten feet out on the branch you have found, and there let a pellet drop to the ground. <laughs> Where's a pellet? Ah, uh, here's a stone. Uh, uh, give me a boost, okay? okay. <laughs> okay. So anybody seeing us doing this would think we're nuts. <laughs> How many feet does it say to crawl out on the branch? Ten. Ten feet. Okay. I better put the pellet in my mouth. <laughs> Up one foot. Up two feet. Up three feet. Up four feet. Up five feet. Six, seven, eight, nine, six, ten. Then this is ten feet. I better drop the pellet to the ground. This must be the place. Right there. Not yet. Let's dig. Come on. From this spot, three paces north, dig and you shall bring it forth. Bring it forth. That's the treasure. Let's go. Three paces north. One, two, three. This is it. How do you know that's north? Because it's colder over here than it is there. No, that's west. That's north. Right. right here, Mabel. I get my shovel. Because the sooner we find it, the sooner I can spend it. It's good. Killing me. I don't understand it. We followed all the instructions. There's the tree, the hanging branch, the pellets, the ten paces out, three paces north. Oh, girls! Tony! <laughs> Tony! What's up, Doc? That's what I'd like to know. Uh, well, Brad, you, you want the truth? Yes, I'd like to hear it. I bet you don't. I don't what? Want to hear it? I think you better tell him, Joan. Yeah, I guess so. Brad, I, I disobeyed you. I opened up the safe. You did? I did, and let's not argue about it, dear. You'll never hear the rest of it. Look, this, this is what I found. Oh, it, uh, well, it looks like a map of some kind. It's a treasure map. I, I was hoping that we'd dig up the treasure before you got back from your golf game. Uh, from this spot, three paces north, dig, and you shall bring it forth. <laughs> Joni, do you actually believe this ridiculous gibberish? Well, of course I believe it. I mean, it's not ridiculous. 
We both know that uh, Mr. Cartwright was kind of peculiar, you know. <laughs> Poetry. Well, Fred, I admit that it sounds like it was written by a lunatic. But, but believe me, I am thoroughly convinced that there is a buried treasure right here in our own backyard. Oh, Johnny, you're just being silly. Brad, you want to pitch in and help us dig for the treasure? <laughs> no, thanks. When it uh, comes to buried treasure, I'm what the kids would call a square. I don't dig it. <laughs> okay, Brad, if that's the way you feel, you're not going to share in the treasure. That's all right with me, Joni. Yeah. Oh, Mabel, I rubbed your back the last time. Will you rub mine oh, now, dear? Sure. Thanks, <laughs> honey. Right, okay, Brad. We'll see who laughs when I when I find the treasure. You'll see. Don't believe me. You said that there was no treasure. Well, that's a pretty small box. Yeah, it is, Annie. Uh, but maybe it's filled with diamonds and emeralds and, and rubies. <laughs> You're one step nearer to your goal, but you must dig another hole. <laughs> you didn't find any diamonds, but you found a gem of poetry. <laughs> well, at least it proves that the map wasn't a fake. Uh, listen to this. Now you dig where two lines meet, one the line from house to street, the other the shadow thrown by the sun across the roof at half past one. Well, that seems pretty simple, doesn't it? There's nothing to it. Help me out. Oh, well, let's see, Brad. Uh, the, the line from the house to the street. Uh, there, there, there's the line from the house to the street, yeah. And, and let's see, there's the line uh, from uh, the shadow of the sun to the roof. There's where the two lines meet, Brad. In half past one, is it? Uh, Brad, what time is it? Um, in three minutes, it'll be half past one. Never mind what time it'll be in three minutes. What time is it now? Okay, it's half past one. Half past one, what do you know? Right on the nose. Right, let's see, the two lines, this is the spot. This has got to be the place. the blisters, maybe. Okay. Well, how's the, how's the treasure hunt coming? Very well, thank you. Oh, Joan, stop kidding yourself. We've dug up half the county. Your Mr. Cartwright must have been crazy with his maps and poetry. I'm quitting. Mabel, you can't quit. Oh, can I? Just watch me. But what about the new outfit that I promised you? Keep it. Just send me a check for a dollar an hour for the digging. Oh, Mabel. <laughs> well, Joni, Mabel's being silly. You know, I have, I have no confidence in this buried treasure, but I have heard of cases where people quit digging for the treasure, and the next person came along and dug one or two foot deeper and uh, uncovered the uh, treasure. Is that right? Yes. Two or three feet deeper and uncovered the whole thing. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, dear, dear, uh, huh? dear, this looks like a likely spot. Oh, Red, I, I hit something. Some treasure. There's a note inside, Brad. The prize is yours if you won't balk and dig one more hole by the flagstone walk. Joni, that sounds like the end of the trail. Yeah. 
Well, Brad, now that it's getting so close, I, I'm getting pretty nervous. I think I'd better go and get some lunch first. Well, do, wait, wait, Joni, don't you want to get started? Aren't you excited? Well, of course I'm excited, Brad, but, well, who knows how deep the treasure may be buried, and I, I'd better get something to eat so I can have some strength. Yes, well. that's right. Flagstone Walk. Uh, any luck, Joan? Yeah, I'm still alive. Oh, Brad, you were right, and so was Mabel. And Mr. Cartwright must have been crazy. Uh, believe me, this whole thing has just been a wild goose chase. Then you're willing to give up, Johnny? I certainly am. Well, I've dug up the whole garden, and I still haven't found any buried treasure. Well, it wasn't a wasted day, though. What do you mean? Well, dear, you always wanted the yard dug up for shrubbery, and here it is. We have a hole for the poinsettia, the fuchsia, the camellias over there. Then you... <laughs> drew the map. That's how you knew it was a phony. Willing to bet on it. And then you're the fellow who... <laughs> Planted the clues. Bradley Stevens, poet laureate of the municipal court. And then you just did this so I would dig up the holes in the garden for you. Why? Jody! Yeah. Jody! Jody! Remember, you promised you wouldn't, you wouldn't open it to the safe now. You, you... Okay, Brad, I guess you're right. I shouldn't have done that, should I? Uh, oh, Brad, look what I did. I, I've just ruined your coveralls, too. Oh, honey, that's all right. The cleaners can remove those bots. I don't think so, Brad. It's some kind of grease that I got in the bottom of these holes. The grease and the... Yeah. Uh... Joni. Hmm? Joni, that's oil. Oil? No, what would oil be doing in the bottom of these holes? Joni, oil, oil on our land. We're starting to be a joke, and we discovered oil. Joni, we're rich, 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 do you hear? Oil on our land? Joni, 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 you've got to keep it a secret. It's oil. It's really oil. Yeah? Here, what? here, here, let me get started. I've got to cover up all these holes. No one must ever know that we have oil on our land. Then I'll buy up all the property. Honey, we'll be rich. Oil wells. Gotta start digging. Covering the holes. Don't tell anyone. Lover, you've been working all night, dear. Why don't you take a rest? Oh, I will, just as soon as I get this last hole covered up. Oh, well, Brad, I'm just so proud of you. Yeah, now, Joan, remember, no one must know about oil on this land. Must be a complete secret. Yeah. Well, then we better get rid of uh, these oil cans. <laughs> you didn't. Oh, yes, I did, Brad. Here, it's for you. <laughs> I dug holes in the yard, like you said, but none is so big as the hole in your head. You thought you were smart, but your plan didn't gel. So remember the old saying, oil's well that ends well. <laughs> Johnny, when did you find out? Well, honey, when I got that last note with the rhyme about the flagstone walk, there was no flagstone walk when Mr. Cartwright lived here. We put that in ourselves. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, here's mud in your carburetor. <laughs> Oh, 